Tens of thousands of dollars racking up, and you won't believe where the money is coming from. A KITV investigation found school districts in Central Texas are collecting all of this money from students and their parents after having their cell phones taken away. KITV's Adam Rakusen joining us now in the studio. Adam, this is completely legal. Yes, it is, and I want to show you the code that allows districts to determine their policies when it comes to cell phones. It allows the school boards to establish disciplinary measures, including confiscating cell phones when they're being used improperly on school grounds. It also allows the district to charge the owner or their parent a fee of up to $15 before they give it back. As for the dollar amounts collected in four years across six districts, it's around $150,000. The blackboard used to be the main focus of teachers. Fast forward to the digital age and technology is king. These are becoming the new tools of the trade, but they are also distractions. You're not supposed to be taking them out and texting and having phone calls when we're trying to do instruction. If kids text or talk out of turn, breaking their student code of conduct, districts step in with penalties. Talking on it in the hallway at, at the high school and had it taken it away. For Michelle Highland, paying any amount of money to get her kid's cell phone back was too much. I just went into the office and the person that took it just threw a, threw a big fit. And it's like, I'm not paying that. Um, you need to give her a phone back. With technology sweeping through the districts, schools are looking for a way to find a balance. Being a core part of 21st century learning, uh, we've found a way to incorporate electronics into our classrooms by adding value instead of allowing it to be a distraction. But that balance has turned into thousands of phones collected and an extra income for schools. KITV pulled the cell phone confiscation records for schools across Central Texas, and the numbers were staggering. Since 2010, the Austin Independent School District has taken in more than $50,000. In Bastrop, more than $18,000. Del Valley, over $16,000. Pflugerville has pulled in around $17,000. And in Round Rock, during the same time period, the district has pocketed more than 44000 bucks. The point of confiscating a phone is to ensure that instruction continues. We, we understand that, you know, phones are, everyone has a phone and people are texting and it's the way to communicate. But when you come to school, you have to learn. The district says the money goes into an activity or miscellaneous account, which directly benefits the students. While most schools keep track of their cell phone finances, the San Marcos Consolidated Independent School District isn't the best when it comes to following the money. For days, we tried to get someone to address our concerns. The district denied our request for an interview and did not fully answer our questions. So we visited the school board members. I'm surprised that it's not being tracked. I think it's a valid question and uh, I think it deserves uh, future attention. The superintendent later described the number of cell phones confiscated as minimal, but admitted they need to track it differently and are changing their process for accountability. Two days later, KITV received this email saying San Marcos has put into place the following procedures regarding cell phones. While districts tell us they do work with students and parents on the cost to get the cell phone out of lockup, it still leaves some wondering if the price fits the crime. We paid for the phone, we paid for the service. Why would I pay to get it back from somebody else? And looking at the numbers, the amount of confiscated cell phones and money the districts are collecting is dropping by the year. Also at AISD, some schools are using a system which clearly tells students when the electronics can be out and when they can't be. We did check with Leander ISD. Unlike many districts, they do not charge for confiscated cell phones. For most schools, these rules are written out in the student code of conduct. Reporting live, Adam Rakusen, KITV News.